So in we go later that day. And I mean, it's just unbelievable. The doors open, and I mean, there's a setup for an orchestra to be recorded. And on the end of this, this huge studio, uh, it's ceiling almost as high as the one in here, all the way across the wall, as big as that wall, is a screen, and they're, they're shooting from a projector at this end, the movie Troy. And it's playing right as we walk in, because they're doing some post-editing, and, and the control room guys are still working, and we're walking in, and I'm supposed to be looking at the microphones they have, and all the great stuff in there, and I'm looking at the movie. I'm like, I want to see what's going on in the movie. So I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm looking back to see if, you know, anything weird happens that I don't know about, and I could tell people ahead of time, hey, I've already seen the movie. Let me tell you what's going to happen. And, and it was amazing, though, because did you see the movie Troy? Anybody here? Apparently not. Wasn't a big success here. Thank you very much. You saw the movie. Powerful movie, I'm guessing. Um, but it wasn't all that powerful this day because you couldn't hear the music playing. It was just the projector shooting it on the wall, and the guys in the control room down here probably could hear the music in the control room. And as we walked around, I thought, oh, that's amazing. 110-piece orchestra. And you know how they did it? She was telling us how they did it. The composer stands there and watches the movie. And as the movie unfolds, the scoring happens, literally watching the movie. The score comes together. And it's the score, is it not, that causes us to rise up on the inside and go, yeah, or oh no, or uh-oh, or ooh. It's the soundtrack that brings the story to life. 